Samsung considering fingerprint scanning for their devices. The next generation iPad is reportedly already in trial production, and rumors of a stock Android HTC One continue. I'm Jaime Rivera, and the reason why I love Tuesdays is because beer is 50% off almost everywhere where I live. And this is Pocket Now Daily. And let's start today off with some product launches. Remember that Sony Xperia Tablet Z, you know, that beautiful Sony tablet that was announced back at MWC four months ago. Beautifully designed, waterproof, everything you want in an Android tablet, probably one of the only ones we'd recommend this year. Well, it's finally being sold, $500 for the 16 gig model, $600 for the 32 gig model, but you wonder why they take so long to launch these things. Speaking of tablets, let's move over to the iPad. The 9.7 inch version of the iPad is apparently already in trial production according to some Asian sources. And well, trial productions means that mass production begins until July, meaning they'll be ready with supplies by something like September. So don't expect it to launch at MWC 2013 on June 10th, probably in the fall. Well, we could be surprised, so stay tuned and see what we get. Now let's move the spotlight over to HTC and Google. A lot of people were very disappointed and heartbroken when there was no Google edition of the HTC One announced at Google I.O. But some very reliable internal sources have been mentioning that apparently this device does exist. Apparently it will be available soon and the question is when. Our biggest bet is that they're waiting for that Galaxy S4 Google edition to launch and see how it performs before they take the plunge with another phone. So stay tuned for the rumors, I call that June, July. And moving over to Windows Phone, Nokia has just updated their Here Maps application for all Windows phones to support their live site feature. For those of you that remember our MWC coverage, that's pretty much City Lens, but baked into Here Maps, meaning, well, Here Maps is available for pretty much every phone that supports the application. So if you update the application, that beautiful City Lens feature that Nokia customers are enjoying is now yours. So hurry up and update. It's kind of cool, really. I mean, you point your device at a place, and it'll tell you what that place is. Is kind of genius in my book. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, reports from a leaked ROM of a Galaxy S3, notice S3, not S4, state that Samsung's been working on fingerprint scanning for their future home buttons coming to Galaxy devices. But notice, that's an S3 ROM. It didn't come on the S4, probably the Note 3 in the future, but it does seem that Samsung's been working on this technology to be able to unlock your phone, and we've seen this happen before. In old pocket PCs, laptops, and we've even seen the Apple patents stating that Apple will bring that to the home button eventually, but the question is, why didn't it make it to the Galaxy S4? But anyways, that leads me to the question of the day. Would you like fingerprint scanning on your smartphone, and would you be willing to pay extra for it? In my particular case, honestly, I don't know what's taken them so long. I mean, I hate the whole unlock screen and then enter your password for security. It's kind of dumb. I mean, fingerprint scanning technology has existed for the longest time. I'd be willing to pay more for the feature to be included in my next smartphone, but Leave us a comment down below, what's your case and how much would you be willing to pay? I'd pay 50 bucks extra. Of course, as always, for another scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com, subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.